Thank you very much, Trevor, my friend. Okay, so Trevor is asking, how do I ha, how do I get my first job as a tester when so much, I guess that's job descriptions, want at least two years experience and developer skills for automated checks? Oh, I have opinions here, but this is about Liana. So what do you um, think? So, so we were actually uh, talking about this earlier uh, because so I've usually been a first line manager, which means that I I can't decide everything myself. And even when I wish I could have just opened it up and said I will hire uh, I will hire for for uh, passion and not for for history. Often the companies I've worked with has been, they have been the ones with the two years of experience requirement. Um, the only times I've actually been allowed to hire like totally senior ones are either when they've done internships with us or when we've hired within the company. So say you're in customer support, I could hire you as a junior tester because you're already in the company. Um, but I know there are a lot of other companies out there who who do hire for for passion, hire for potential, and I um, I wish more companies did it because it's. I mean, so I did a talk about this um, about recruiting for potential, and if you're allowed to let people do. Um, some sort of assignment that's relevant to whatever role you have. Um, you could pretty easily see which ones have potential. But getting past that HR requirement of, of experience, is, it's, it's been hard for me as well as a, as a hiring manager. Um, so there are a few things there. That actually, if you if you read between the lines with some advice that that seems to um, make sense when I look at my experience and what I've seen. So you talked about one great one was talked about. Well, when we've done it, we've hired within the company, and that that was that was something that I deliberately did. I deliberately because my original my original plan was to be a games designer, believe it or not, and um, so I thought well. What's the best way to get into a games company is to do testing, test games. I play games all day long, um, but I didn't have any testing experience, but I did have customer um, service experience. And so I applied for a tech support job, got that, worked that job for three to six months, and I got hired into the into the testing role. So is that is that, I would advocate that as being a pretty smart thing to do. And it sounds like you kind of are as well. Yes, but I, I... I want to say that you only need to have the skills and not the experience. Right, right. But uh, unless the market shifts a lot, that's. I mean, you you. It's the, the easiest way is to find a company you want to work for and find another opening and then move from there, um, mm. or internships if if you have any possibility of internships or if there are trainee programs. I mean, trainee programs are usually great. Yeah. I mean, so it sounds like there's some good advice there. One is see if you can get a foot in the door in the company in a different role and then and then start, you know, trying to plan your internal transition. Um, another one is to get an internship. Um, another one that I've seen work incredibly well is is networking i mean that that is yes. it's it's again to to just just to to back up what liana was saying around you know it should be about skills but actually it's sometimes about other things it's about who you know and it's and i've seen people do this they'll they'll go to uh in the uk i've definitely seen this like um the software tester club meetups that are now testing essentials by the way meetups they'll go there and learn and network and show keenness and eagerness there are platforms that people use online i know that i know that emma keevney did this she went and did a bunch of crowdsource testing 
and then got herself along to some meetups, then got herself into a test bash, then networked the hell out of the situation and then was able to get a job there. Um, I know that um, uh, Layla did the same thing. Layla Gregory did pretty much exactly the same thing. She had a job in tech already, but wanted to move into testing. And so she just started networking at all kinds of different meetups and things like that. So networking is a big one. And that's when your personal brand starts to work for you as well. Um, so yeah, I think they're all good bits of advice. Try and get, try and get your, try and do, you're gonna have to do some legwork and do some research. Because as Liana said, there are companies that do hire juniors or people with no experience and build them up and train them. But you need to find out where they're at yeah. and start and start, you know, being a bit of a, a investigative journalist and use your skills to find out who these people are. Um, so yeah. Also, pre please don't see testing as the easy way into tech. <laughs> because we don't like that. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Plus one, that one. Okay, so I hope that helps, Trevor. Um, definitely get yourself into the Ministry of Testing Slack chat uh, room uh, and start networking with people and start letting people know you're around. It will, it will definitely help, my friend.